it's Seven Eyes. Welcome back to the Story of a Song series. And today I want to share with you some funny little things about my song Hold On and also why I created it. Now, Hold On, as you may already know, exists in various versions, three versions now. There is the original one, the large one, the one which is uh, seven and a half or even more than that, closer to eight minutes long, and which is a song which is at the cross roads of trip hop and rock. The whole first part is in the kind of a down tempo, cool, chill actually type of song, only some synthesizers, organs, a kind of a slow beat and a bass. And by the way, one further thing about that is that this bass is the same as on my other song, Fly. And it's a mix of five different basses which are played together, that's one thing, plus some specific treatment to tame them. So to say so that the bass sound is really present it's really heavy but it's still manageable and doesn't kill the mix and the second half of the song is gradually shifting to rock actually in the middle of the cool down tempo part of it etc there are first some guitars which are introduced and these guitars are a clean one playing with my fingers not a pick a simply kind of chords or pedios on a guitar and it keeps a kind of a folk cool kind of mood into this trip hop song which is something that many bands like doing in that kind of feel like i can think of more chiba for instance for one then some electric rock guitars come into play and when they come into play the mood of the song changes to a rock mood and that's the whole second half although electronic stuff synthesizers specific effects weird things happening a break where you go back to this kind of electro heavy bass sound all that stays around but it really is a rock mood and that also corresponds to the meaning of the song which is in all the verses about how hard it is to communicate with one another it's true for all communication among people and even it can be true of people you do love or you are very fond of or you have a close relationship to it's a must to pay attention to these relationships and communicating is not always that easy so that's a meaning of that and the choruses which are postponed until this rock part of the song well they are about managing that achieving that and therefore supporting each other due to that and that's also a bit more positive than the verses and that fits pretty well the rock sound the tempo stays exactly the same throughout the whole song but the feeling of it because of the rhythm of the drums as well where you have a lot more acoustic drums coming in and rock drums coming in in this part of the song it also so gives a different feeling and I just love that when I investigated all this and experimented into these kind of ideas when creating this song. Yeah and the other thing is that precisely because there is this duality in this song there are these two moments of the song and because this song is a long one it's like fly fly is also somewhere between seven and eight minutes long hold on is in the same kind of league so to say. I love creating songs like that and I love listening to songs like that. And I know there are a lot of people loving that too. And creating long songs has been around forever. I'm restricting myself to pop music. I mean, in the broadest meaning of this word, popular music. I'm not talking about classical music at all here. That's my point. But if you think about it, you've got some very long popular music forever, whatever the style, whatever the moment. But we have something. We have radio. And nowadays, we've been having for a pretty long time now, Spotify and music platforms like that and playlists and the very bad news there is a lot of good news about that. The very bad news about that is that these guys, the DJs on the radios, the curators of playlists, they hate long songs. They need the songs to be somewhere between three, four minutes, five minutes maximum. Otherwise, they fear, rightly or wrongly, don't ask me, there is this fear that the listener is going to skip. And when the listener skips, it gives a bad signal to the algorithm. And the algorithm is going to downgrade the playlist because it believes 
is that uh, listeners don't really like the music on the playlist. So in fear of having listeners skipping songs, playlisters tend to select shorter songs instead of longer ones. And therefore it reduces the kind of choice you have as a listener. But anyways, that's the way it is. Everyone has to kind of adapt to that. And that's the reason why. It's not the only reason. I think it was fun to do that as well, just doing it. But the kind of a business reason to create other versions of Hold On was to create what I call a radio edit. I could have called it a playlist edit. It's exact same. A radio edit version. A version which is less than four minutes long. It's, uh, I think it's three minutes and 44 seconds long, something like that. About half the duration of Hold On overall. And it was fairly obvious to determine precisely because Hold On has two different moments. So I picked up the one with the more energetic rhythm into it, the rock part of the song, which has all the choruses plus one verse in the middle and the break, this break where you come back to this short remembrance of a electro trip hop mood right before the final chorus. Well, I had all that and I said, well, it could be a song of its own in its own right. So that's why I edited the song to only keep this and turn it into Hold On Radio Edit. And it was pretty satisfactory in the end, simply because when I listened to this part in isolation as a song of its own, I found out, yeah, it deserved to, to exist. It deserved to have its own life as well because it works. It does work as a song in isolation. The long version does work as a song, but the short one as well. And I love the two. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's been a pleasure sharing that, by the way. As you know, I love doing that. If you want to learn more, one place you can go, and that's kind of my central hub, is my website. You have the URL at the bottom of the screen uh, since the beginning of this video and you'll find a lot more things there music videos stories even images etc lots of things if you want to learn more in this kind of story of a song videos one way to go is to go to my youtube channel well you'll find a lot more of them so my youtube channel you have a short link to it on screen as well at the moment and when you're there, thanks for following me, subscribing to my channel, hitting the bell so that you are notified when I upload a new video on it. All these kind of things that you are aware are pretty cool on YouTube. And last but not least, the other cool way to stay in touch is simply to follow me on socials. And that's super easy. It is at Evernoise on all socials and you just follow me there and I'll follow you back. You send me a DM and I'll make sure to answer if you have a question or a comment or something you'd like to know and you'd like me to discuss and I'll make sure to address all that. It's really fun and very cool to do that. I love doing that. So I look forward to hearing from you and I also look forward to seeing you in another episode. Have a great day. Bye. I don't mind